All right, hey Leo, so we are doing a ghosted read for you guys. <clears throat> and this is just a quick energy check-in. So if it doesn't resonate, check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome to my channel, you guys. So we are going to pull your energy and situation, how you feel about this person. Um, and that's going to be your identifier to whether this is your read. So let's just pull a couple of romance angels to see where you're sitting at when it comes here and then they ooh, okay so here's what i'm gonna say you're coming through with um codependency leo this is uh being attached to an outcome attached to and trying to control an outcome this is you hanging on to energy of a person that you don't um, it's not going to help you by hanging on to this. All right. Um, the card says addictions are affecting your romantic life. It's, I don't feel like it's addictions. I feel like it's addictions to this person. All right. Um, in order to call something in, you got to let it go first. Um, you got to know that what's yours belongs to you, will come to you. And I know it's easier said than done, but this person, and probably because of some stubborn behavior with, um, this, if you guys are in the ghosted period, um, this person actually does i do feel have a lot of interest in you but they're they're coming through with unrequited love all right um it could be that they have a disinterest because of codependent issues with you it could just be too that because of the ghosted situation that they no longer have your attention so they don't think that you're interested in them all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull more energy to see where you guys are sitting at so that we can get a better understanding of what is going on. So the cards have been pre-shuffled, but let's see what your energy and situation is first. All right, so you're really upset and I feel like you do want to come out of the upset phase. Um, the five of cups reminiscing on the past, you're focused on the past, you're upset, you're um, probably um, crying a lot, maybe not even crying, but tears coming in your, your eyeballs, you know, being upset, being mad, being hurt, being angry um, by somebody that you felt was uh, supposed to be in your life as a soul mate connection, a deep connection that you felt. Um, this is where that codependency is coming in. It's coming in with the lover's card because you feel like this is a soulmate, right? This person's supposed to be here. This is my emperor. This is my empress. This person's supposed to be here and I miss them. I want them. I, I want to touch them, smell them, kiss them, cuddle them, right? Um, and that's not codependent behavior. It's just controlling the dynamic of the relationship is where I feel that you could be in that energy. It could be that roles are reversed too. All right. But ultimately what I feel with this energy is that you're just upset because this person means a lot to you. The emperor represents Aries energy. Um, the lovers is Gemini. Um, however, this person is a leader. It's a soulmate. It's home. It's a builder. Let's build, grow, Let's be successful together, right? And that's how you're looking at this person. Like they are your king. They are your queen. They're supposed to be here. And right now you're just completely upset over the entire dynamic. Um, how you feel about them. Um, the Ace of Wands showing up. Um, that Ace of Wands, man, that's more fire energy. Um, so regardless of what they've done, um, you are more than okay with this person coming back. Okay. How you feel about them is you, you, you want a new beginning. You miss the sex. You miss the love. Um, if you guys have had sex, you miss the passionate conversations. If you have not had sex, I feel like there's a lot of heat when it comes to this connection. All right. And how you feel about them is you have not lost, um, any ounce of that, how you feel about this person. So this is your energy and how you see them. Um, the queen of swords is somebody who's independent, um, unbiased, somebody who sets clear boundaries, somebody who can be very direct, overly emotional, easily influenced and cold hearted. So, um, if you think about this as a ghosted read, you're going to see this more negative aspect. So this also too could be somebody that's also dealing with codependency, um, somebody who is biased, somebody who does make judgments, somebody who doesn't know how to set boundaries when it comes to th their position in life, somebody who is very indirect, somebody who is very over emotional, um, easily influenced and again, cold hearted. 
all right, um, how you see them as far as the Knight of Cups goes. Um, the Knight of Cups is coming through as somebody who's, who um, is creative, charming, imaginative. Um, it's beauty. It's dating. It's making love. Also overreactive, unrealistic, jealous, and moody. All right. And so any of those positive or negative aspects could play a part in how you feel about this person. Um, but overall, I do feel like you you do want this return. You you are open to new beginnings with that Ace of Wands. Um, the Knight of Cups, though, is like treating me right. Come at me right. Um, ask me on a date. Take me out. Treat me as I should be treated. Um, but also, too, with the Queen of Swords energy, be honest with me. Right. Just be honest with me. So let's see what their energy is. For Leo. So they're wondering when it's going to come back around. They're, this person with the Sun card. You guys. Alright. So anyway. Sorry guys. Had a little cat attack. Anyways. Um, so here's what their energy is. Their overall energy. Again I don't read reversals often. But the Sun card coming in reverse. Um, is a huge significant. Significant signifier I don't know if I said that right um that this person is not very happy right now um I feel like they were happy and they were content when you were in their life when everything was routine it was going good and routine I mean it's like you know um y'all are dating you're going out for dinner whatever it is however the dyna dynamic played out um everything was good all right the judgment card is this right here, man, change, growth, rebuild, and release. All right. So this person's energy knows that something needs to change in order for success to come in, in order for growth to come in, in order for stability. You could be dealing with um, a Leo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a, uh, Air, uh, I'm sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In this connection, it does not have to be. Um, let's just see how they feel about you. And this person could be going through those transformations. They could be going through changes. They could be going through growth. They could be um, channeling their energy in different ways. How they feel about you. Okay, so look, at, um, I'll tell you this, Leo. And you guys just need to trust that if you're still here at this point, this is your read. Um, the Eight of Swords, this person is thinking about you a lot. All right. This person's also probably bound to unhealthy decisions when it comes to their life, whether um, I don't want to, I'm not going to say, I'm, in, I'm not going to compare this to the devil card, which is a lot of ego um, type of behaviors, but this is um, being addicted, all right? And I almost feel like this person, they don't know how to let you go, okay? I feel like you're the only one on their mind. They don't know how to let you go, but they do know that with the death card coming through, that there does need to be a huge turn of events before you guys can come back together. And I feel like at this point, this person's just leaving it up to fate, leaving it up to the universe to step in in order to help the connection um, grow, manifest, and come back together. Um, so how they feel about you, I feel like they do think about you. I do feel like it's uh, to them, it's been guided, a connection that has been guided together. Um, but here's one thing I do want to say when it comes to the not devil card being here is I, I almost feel like this person could actually portray that you are the one that needs to change. Um, and that's very, very egotistical view, but because that death card is coming through on how they feel about you, um, you know, that's transformation. Um, it's rebirth and it's almost like this person's like, I'll come back if you change. Well, that's not fair. And so they definitely need to change their mindset if that's the case. All right. So let's see why this person ghosted. All right. So why they ghosted this person um, to me, here's what I'm going to say is, is very wishy-washy. They don't know what they want. All right. The three of swords is an indication of unhealed wounds. Um, and I don't see that this person actually thinks about anybody else. I don't see that they're dating anybody else. Um, but with this three of swords card, this is telling me that this person is very, very upset, heartbroken um, over something that has happened. What I want to say about this card is it does not have to be that this person is upset or heartbroken about somebody else from their past. This could actually be you. 
All right. So it could just be that the reason why they ghosted is because there's been too much pain, trauma, drama to, to keep on pursuing this. All right. Um, the two of coins, um, it could be that there's lack of, of the ability to make up one's mind. That could be your energy. It could be their energy. It could be, just be the juggling aspects of life, having too much on the plate, not being able to give as much time, effort, and energy as you want or they want. You know what I mean? The two of coins, it doesn't have to be that they're juggling people. So don't get all threatened by that. Um, and then we have the four of cups. And this is about missed opportunities, opportunities of the past. This is like, I almost feel like what's really going on here is this person ghosted because there's changes that they know needs to be made in this connection. Um, regardless of how long you guys have been together. All right. I feel like the changes um, that are coming through um, is in this current situation. I don't even feel like it's past. I just feel like this person sitting here like there, there needs to be some changes and growth before we can move forward. All right. And I feel like this person also looks at this connection as having that has the capability to have a lot of potential. But if there is no um, partnered growth, if you guys are not moving forward together, there's no point in it. And I just kind of see that's where this person's sitting at. So is this person going to come back around? Is this person coming back around? All right. So when it comes to this, look at that, you guys, this person is coming back. If you guys have been stuck in your head or you've been in your head about this, it's time to come out of it. The full card is changes and new beginnings. All right. So it is going to come back around. You guys just need to have that hope and set that intention out. What, what do you want? Always project what you do want to the universe and not what you don't want. Um, when this person does come back around, though, they're going to come back through with some mental clarity. And that's what they're going to give you. That's what they're going to expect. They're going to expect intellectual communication. They're going to give it. They're going to expect that. Um, they're going to come through with um, truth, honesty, um, you know, and instead of just being quiet and hiding how we feel, we're going to talk about it. Um, we're not going to misuse our power in the connection and we're going to be non-manipulative. We're not going to be manipulative at all. We're going to tell each other how, what we want, how we feel. We're going to lay it on the table. All right. Again, with the three of cups coming through a celebration, happiness coming together and kind of moving past the sore issues that we have going on here. Um, so is it going to be worth it for you to, to continue to pursue this when they come back? Is it going to be worth it for Leo? Leo, if I called you Aries before, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So here's what I'm going to say. This is going to be a connection that takes some time to move forward. Okay. When they come back and I'm going to pull a 30 days after this set, but here's what I'm going to say. Does this, uh, is it worth, is it going to be worth it? All right, to continue this, you guys definitely need to lay down the burdens of the past. For those of you who can't lay that down, you will not get past it. It's not going to be worth it. The hangman card is coming through reverse because I feel like probably we're about 50-50 here. I feel some of you guys are going to let go of the past in such a way that you're able to move forward. All right, you got the chariot. This is emotions. This is success. It's moving forward. Um, but I feel like some of you guys might just be holding on to the, the, the shit. And you don't know how to let it go. And it might not move forward. So we might be right back up here. Okay. But it is coming through. So it's really, it's free will. You guys can move forward if you want. But, and Leo, I'm telling you this. If you cannot let go of whatever's happened. And you're with somebody and you guys come back together and they can't let it go. It's, there's going to be no point. All right. So what's the next 30 days look like? And when this, when this, um, when this situation happens, you guys, it's, if we live in the past, we're never going to move forward. Okay. Um, if we move, if we live in the future, if we're worried about the future, we're not moving forward. And if we live in the past, we're not moving forward because we're living in the past. If we're fearing the future, we're fearing, we're putting our fears out there because we're fearing or hanging on to what could be, what will be Right. So in the next 30 days, I feel like, um, what this 10 of swords is saying is you guys are going to come out of the, the, the saddened phase of whatever had transpired beforehand. Um, the page of uh, cups, um, this is a representation of new beginnings, um, love, um, it's, um, forward thinking and it's, uh, embody, 
it's the embodiment of emotional emotional maturity all right and i feel like we are going to see a lot of growth in this connection in the, the next 30 days and the the page of cups too is going to be like that text message or that phone call that you get that you've been waiting for but not waiting for because we don't wait on people right um, but you guys will choose um, in the next 30 days when it comes back to this person whether you want to move forward or move forward without this person i feel like that's what's happening with you guys all right so leo i'm going to leave it there Thanks for being here, you guys. Take it easy.